creating a shoulder piece part one. For those of you who are just tuning in, hi, nice to meet you. I am a drag artist. I'm currently writing original music for a drag number that I hope to be able to perform soon. And my plan was, and still is, to be able to tie my other love, costume making, into that number. Wherein I would finish writing the number and then make a costume to go along with it and then perform it. But I realized that I miss making costumes and I really should be doing it more. Practice makes perfect, right? As they say. So I thought things through, fiddled around with my schedule a little bit and was able to carve out some chunks of time each day that I can devote to costuming. And I think what I'm gonna do for those who have been following is split um, my behind the scenes videos into a couple couple different things. I'm gonna have the songwriting one, I'm gonna have the costume making one. It's gonna be a grand old time. Hoo hoo hoo! So let's get going. Step number one is complete. I have cleared my desk. Step two is to fish out from purgatory. Here's my Statue of Liberty crown, RIP. Um, my material. Yes, I am using wire. I am going to create a wire sculpture bodice. Probably not a full bodice actually, but like a, like a shoulder piece, like shoulder and neck. I have worked with wire before, as you can see. Lots and lots of wire. And yesterday I was thinking about what I could make. Um, I, I was thinking from the get-go, um, like a neck corset shoulder piece kind of thing. Um, and I did a quick Google of, um, you know, how to make a neck corset, and boy oh boy, it was a lot. Big learning curve it would be for me. So I decided to stick with what I know, which is wire. Much less of a learning curve. It looks kind of cool when it's done. The only downside really is that it's phenomenally uncomfortable to wear. But whatever, I'm still relatively young and supple, so we're gonna let that slide. And that's the plan. We are going to basically do something like this, but cubed and we're gonna see how it goes. So tools at hand, let's get started. So the first thing that I did was get some quick measurements. Roughly outlining the shape of the shoulder piece that I want and now I'm gonna cut. Measure, mark, cut. Pieces are cut. I don't have the proper tools to straighten these out so we're gonna kind of just pretend that they are straight. Now we are gonna start trying to shape each of these pieces around my body. So now we have two pieces. We have the front and the back, and we are going to join them like this, like so. Ta-da! Of course, I forgot that I can't actually close this stuff around my neck because then I won't be able to get it off. I added little loops to the end of it, and what will happen when it's all done, down the back of my body, will be a series of these loops and there will be laces and I will just lace it all up and call it a day. Actually, what we're going to do is something a little bit more complicated than that. The plan is to still lace it up, but cut each of these back a little bit and add a hinge a little bit further back and have some extra metal pieces that can like swing in and out to lace it together so I don't have to bend the actual piece itself every time that I put it on or take it off. That's a step for a different day, definitely. We have the beginnings of something. Shoulder piece base, neck piece. Until next time. 